Hey guys, this is Amber from the Happy Caravan. I'm a mom of 10 kids and we live in New York City. And I'm gonna show y'all what we eat in a week. Today is Wednesday, we went shopping yesterday, so this is the first day of our eating week. And we are making Romanian chicken soup. I usually try and make meals that the kids like, of course, but on top of that, healthy, not too expensive. So it's, it's a little bit of a <laughs> challenge, but we do our best. Anyway, so we are making Romanian chicken soup. So we have this big pot over here. And Mark's sweetie, he's cut up the vegetables for us. It has a bell pepper, one bell pepper, one red bell pepper. It has um, some celery, it has some carrots in it, and some onions, and of course, chicken. So I'll show you what else is in there. There is some beautiful soup. He's putting in there, sauteing the, the vegetables at first. No, so like so good. So here is the chicken. We just use whole chicken pieces, and this actually kind of makes a broth because the bones are in while it's cooking. And that way, we only have to put water in there instead of like chicken broth. And so Mark took off the skin. Mark has a Romanian friend at work, and he says his mom does not take off the skin. So some, I guess, there's kind of different variations. Our kids are kind of like nervous about things so we take off this again for them but we might try it sometime what's your friend's name uh we call him Bo. okay but it's it's a it's some really romanian cool name, name. <laughs> cool name romanian. Radu. radu oh yeah that sounds very romanian okay so um yeah sometime we'll try it the I think. <laughs> that's cool sometime we'll try the real romanian way but for now we're americanizing it a bit i guess so Mark's putting just some water in there because it does kind of make its own broth, which is nice. So this is where we put the seasoning in. So how much salt did you put in? Uh, a, a heaping teaspoon. Okay, and then how much vegeta? Five, uh, five teaspoons. Five teaspoons. This is kind of like this, this um, magic ingredient that we actually learned about from the Romanians and that I was friends with Romanians when I was a kid. My friend, I went, as soon as I said it, was like, oh, you Yeah, yeah so it's a, <laughs> But this is nature, so it does not have like MSG. Some versions of Vegeta do have MSG, so if you're not into that, I don't, I don't know if it's actually bad for you, but for some reason, I just feel better not using MSG. So anyway, this stuff is amazing. Anyway, here it goes. Bubbly, bubbly. So we're gonna put this organic tomato sauce in. Adds flavor and beautiful pink color. So now that it's at simmer state, it's got um, seasoning in there. How long should we cook it for, Mark? Uh, it takes about a half hour. With a half the noodles hour. In. Okay. Uh, so close, close. It. Yeah, there you go. Um, Here are the noodles we use. These little just kind of fine noodles. Makes it chicken noodle soup. I put about a cup and a half in there, but it's just going to be all right. Okay. The Mark was saying this cooks with the noodles and everything for about a half hour. And at the very end, we put the parsley. And um, the Romanians always put lemon. Some of our kids like lemon, some of them don't. Hello. So, can you get something on your foot? Sorry. So anyway, so we put some um, lemon. I put lemon individually, and also sour cream tastes really good in there too. It's just super yummy. Mama, we usually serve it with bread. Okay. Did you get some on your foot? Okay. Okay. So we found out why he was crying. He wants a mulch, which means orange. You want orange? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How do <laughs> you say do it, Mo? Yeah. Can you say orange? Mulch. <laughs> There we go. At least we're learning. We're learning mo talk. So we got the parsley in there now. Yes, ma'am. it around. It looks beautiful. So food is ready. This is what it looks like when it's all done. It's got some yummy noodles and carrots, and you can see the bell pepper and the chicken, and it just tastes really, really good. Quite yummy. Just as a carnivore, he likes. He likes our meat soups. A very valiant trencherman, as I like to put it in all my profiles. Do you like putting lemon on yours? Uh, I actually prefer it without lemon, without for whatever reason. So but some people like it, some people don't. 
To each their own. To each their own. <laughs> Maxim for life. <laughs> I love the bottom ones because um, I can put soup inside them. Oh, yeah, he likes putting soup so in good. Well, see, I was in a rush. You could just get some and then I'll get some. I don't really do an arm day, I just do everything all at once. Um, have you ever seen a sit on the... Uh, oh, very well, Luther, who just finally got on top of that. Sorry, please. What about... Um, pharmacy identification. Yeah. Trying it, trying not to burn myself. Mmm, <laughs> it's good. Perfect with the sour cream and the lemon. My, my personal thing. Baby thinks so too. <laughs> Cause you have mommy more. She keeps telling me to come up. With it. He's getting daddy with the lightsaber. Are you getting daddy with the lightsaber? No. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ready for Darth Vader. For dessert, she's having a Merci chocolate. What kind is that? Um, it's coffee and cream. Coffee and cream, that sounds amazing. Hey guys, welcome to Thursday night. Today we are making barbecue chicken and green beans and rainbow pasta by um, request from the kids because that's what they used to always have at our granny's house. We're supposed to have something else. Yeah. Well, yeah, we were supposed to have lamb korma. But we forgot to marinate the lamb the night before, so change of plans for having barbecue chicken. This is a very easy meal. Thankfully, we just get the um, barbecue sauce from Trader Joe's and uh, put it on the chicken. And we put the chicken on rack so it doesn't get, um, it just kind of makes it more crispy that way. In they go. <laughs> one side of our fridge, um, I'm sorry, one side of our oven cooks much harder than the other side, so I try and keep them both on the same side. So they cook more evenly. So I have it set to about 400, um, but our oven doesn't quite cook at the temperature. It cooks a little less hot than it says, so. <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. And here's the Trader Joe's organic Kansas City style barbecue sauce. Mark is taking down our old bookshelves because they are Ikea and well, Ikea kind of has a bit of a shelf life. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? Shelf life. Anyway, they don't last very long. As you can see, it is the leaning tower of bookshelves. It is, uh, yeah, so anyway, so we're, we got a new one. It's actually the, um, similar. It's a Billy bookshelf, but it's, um, push together instead of having them both be apart like that. So as Ikea is famous for, everything comes in lots of bits and pieces. So here's the new bookshelf in mini pieces. And Lee is making a pumpkin cheesecake, yes. And these are the ginger, ginger snaps for the crust, right? Yep. And is that what the salted caramel sauce is for? Yep. Everyone's been eyeing it in the cupboard. I was like, it has a plan. She has a plan. So we're making some, uh, she's putting it in here for the food processor, but it's coming out of the holes. So we have some, we have a huge, we have trouble in Houston. Why is there a hole in the first place? Well, it's supposed to have a seal. It has a rubber seal and some goober took it out and didn't put it in. So here is the seal in question. If that will keep the crumbs from flying everywhere. This is really bad. Okay, now it is working. Yes, the seal is in the food processor. Yay! So she put in unsalted butter, right? Yep. Okay, that's the that's the crust. I need to put cinnamon and sugar. Cinnamon and sugar. Oh my goodness, it smells so good already. Spicy. Thank you help with the dishes. Thank you so much, Elijah. You're welcome. So the chicken is done. It's looking super yummy. And then the noodles are done. And then we're just steaming the green beans. And we're still assembling the shelf over there. It's almost done. And here is her no-bake cheesecake. <laughs> I missed her putting it in there, but I'm sure it's amazing. We'll look at it later. So Moses has eaten his food. He's got chicken and peas and some pasta. Is that good? Is that yummy stuff, Lou? Yeah. <laughs> milk. Okay, you want some milk? Yeah. Okay. Nice, Mo. You look great. <laughs> Thank you.
Thankfully, that's a new trash can that we just got from Ikea. <laughs> Is this your little boat? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I trapped it in there. Aww. I pretended it was a Dale. Oh, okay. <laughs> Seems but, to enjoy it. Of progress on the bookshelf. It's much more sturdy than the old one was. For now. <laughs> So this is the next day. This is her cheesecake. She ended up putting it in the freezer because it wasn't setting for some reason. So, Mama. Oh, it's beautiful, actually. Look at that. Are you gonna put it with cream on top? Yeah. You can't find the whisk attachment for some reason. Oh, you found it. Where was it? Just in that drawer. Oh, in the drawer. Okay. Yes, that's cake. But first, we're gonna have potatoes for lunch. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's the beautiful whipped cream. And she's putting it so pretty. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> she's sampling it. That's it? It's beautiful. You can put caramel sauce. Caramel sauce. Caramel. Salted caramel sauce. So this is the salted caramel sauce from Trader Joe's. She's making I it I don't pretty. know what to do. It's um, not really dripping. Is it cold? No. No. She's giving it. Not she's hot. giving it a drizzle. I bet if you warm, maybe she warmed it up. No, maybe it's maybe fine. microwave it or something. I'm just gonna do random stuff with it. I'm sure it's gonna be so good. Beautiful. Can I see your jar of stuff. Fleur de sel, caramel sauce. Fancy. <laughs> First ingredient is sugar. That's just well, that's what's in caramel, so you expect it. Looks good. Here is the finished product. It is gorgeous. Looks professional. Like you said, it's the prettiest thing Naomi ever made. I agree. It's very much, uh, feels like beautiful fall. <laughs> Look at that beautiful cake. Let's see, Chloe's having some. That's so pretty. Okay, you know, give me your take on it. Tell me if you think it's good. Oh, you need some milk? Mama. <laughs> you want cake milk? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, it's really good. What does it good. taste like? It tastes like pumpkin cheesecake. I don't know. Pumpkin cheesecake. There you go. What do you think, Mo? <coughs> <laughs> Is it good milk? Yeah. And good cheesecake? <coughs> That's a big spoon, Melody. You, we need to get you a little or spoon. Do you like it? <laughs> you got milk on your pants? Yeah. That's okay. Do you like your cake? Oh. Okay. Did you say spill, Mo? Yeah. Okay, I'm learning to speak Mo. You spilled. Okay. Spilled milk. Spilled milk. That's a sentence, Mo. Good job. Okay, Mom. Share, Mom? She's having some cheesecake too. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Friday. We are making lamb korma. We have actually made a whole video about how we make it. Um, it's a really interesting recipe. It actually has ground almonds in it, lamb, which actually Naomi made the lamb for us, which is amazing. Um, which is, you have to marinate it in yogurt, and it's a little bit complicated, but it is so yummy. It's very much like. We went to an expensive Indian restaurant, but we didn't actually go to an ex expensive Indian restaurant. <laughs> we also serve it with garlic naan, which is maybe the kids, some of the other kids' favorite part, but mm, look at that beautifulness. Anyway, so it has basically, yes, Mo, you wanna show me your food? Okay, I'll be right there. Mo likes to show me his food. Anyway, um, so it has a leg of lamb and um, cilantro, even just a little bit of sugar at the end. Really interesting recipe, so you can check out our other video if you want to see the full. <laughs> it's so wood involved, but worth it. Hey Mo, what do you think about lamb korma? Good. Is it so yummy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Noah has free college. Julia tomorrow, and he is doing his homework. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's doing music theory. Is music theory fun? Yeah. Um, Complicated, huh? Yeah. yeah, it's like math. <laughs> Would you want to do music theory one day, Mo? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey 
guys, welcome to Saturday night. Saturday is crazy day, so we have bean burritos for dinner. And some of our kids are at free college earlier. We um, go on shopping errands. I usually get a snack for the kids, so that's also part of our, um, our eating for Saturday night. We actually got donuts today, so they were fancy donuts. Anyway, so this is Moses' burrito. You ready for burrito? Yeah. Yeah, he's so big. I was like, do you want salsa? Or ketchup. I showed him the ketchup bottle. He says, no. He wanted um, salsa. So he's a very big boy. So this is Moses' burrito. It has beans and cheese and some salsa. Trader Joe's salsa. He likes, he likes yeah. salsa authentica. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. So here is Mama's burrito. It has black beans. I make these in the Instant Pot. Lettuce tomato, the pico de gallo salsa from Trader Joe's, hot, <laughs> it's so good, um, cheese, of course, sour cream, so that is the, that's the joy of burritos, they're endlessly customizable. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Sunday afternoon, we are all wearing, well we were wearing <laughs> matching outfits because we were making a video for um, like TikTok for Brandy or whatever, um, but we came home from church in our craziness. I'll link the video around here about how we <laughs> made our TikTok. Um, anyway, so um, here's our Zipa Toscana. This is one of our favorites. Mm. Well, I like I, it. I, I the, a lot, it. Most of the kids like it. Moses loves it. It's not my favorite. It's not yeah. Elijah's favorite. It's good. It's good. It's good. Very good. Look, I'm taking it off. I like it. <laughs> okay, so. This is the best copycat Zupo Toscana. It is by thechunkychef.com. Mark used to work at Olive Garden when he was in Bible school. That was in Iowa, right, Mark? Yeah, so in Iowa. He worked at the Olive Garden in Iowa. Did, I don't know it was in Iowa. did you ever try the Zupo Toscana in Olive no, Garden? Never. Yeah, was it good? That was the popular soup. That was a popular soup, so anyway. So he's a soup expert. <laughs> do you like it, Jose? Yes, I do. He's a meat lover. It has um, sausage and bacon in it. Moses also. So it's an automatic it. winner. And I'm even not, kale. Not and if you want it, we use mild sa sausage. I mean, if you use mild or spicy, we oh. opted for mild. And if you want it to be spicy, you can add okay. your own crushed yeah, red chet liver. <laughs> you can add a little extra flavor. No. No. And Naomi made a beautiful salad here, too. That's so fancy. Yeah, Good job. <laughs> and last night we got some donuts, so there's, we actually got a dozen donuts, but mommy and daddy didn't eat theirs, so I'm going to cut these, one? yeah, I'm going to cut these in quarters so everyone can have a little taste of them. Is it good? Mm -hmm. What kind is it, do you think? Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's chocolate. Chocolate something, it's good. Yeah. So here's the soup, it has the sausage and also has baby kale in it too, which is... Um, that's kind of why I fell in love with it. It has the meat for the meat lovers and then also some kale and chicken broth and also um, some heavy cream to make it creamy. And Mark was our early morning. <laughs> he worked on it early morning. I worked on the getting everybody's outfits ready and he worked on the suit. So it was a group effort. <laughs> Since I had to share the donuts, we're having some extra things from the cookie drawer too. <laughs> This is one of everyone's favorites. It's the pumpkin spice Jojo's. Okay. And they're basically like an Oreo, like a pumpkin Oreo covered in like yummy stuff. <laughs> I don't know what, I could get a yogurt coating or something. Flavored with sea salt, so they're quite yummy. Josiah's opting for the maple biscotti. Does he have well, any it's coffee? only purpose is to dip in coffee. Dip in course, coffee, sorry. yes. It's main, it's main purpose. <laughs> it's perfect for coffee dipping. Here's Mama Zupa Toscana. I put some pepper flakes. Oh, pepper flakes in mine. <laughs> yeah, poor one. I spilled. We got some herbs here. It's good. It's really good with the bacon. We've never actually had it with bacon. So the first week, we burned the bacon. The second time we made it, the kids ate the bacon with their potatoes. This time, there's actually bacon in there. So <laughs> it's actually good. Okay, this is, this is the ranch dressing the kids have. <laughs> Totally ate that's our made new favorite dressing. It's from Trader Joe's. It's really good. I I made my own too, um, but sometimes it's nice just to have this because the recipe I have for ranch dressing, you have to have buttermilk and this and that, and so it's just nice like so it's just to have it on hand and it encourages the kids 
to eat salad, which is always a good thing. More salad less donuts, hopefully. Hey guys, welcome to Monday night. We are having a late dinner because we all had Zoom meetings, um, all sorts of things, but a late dinner is better than no dinner. So um, we just, like I schedule the meal and we just make it, even if it's late. Uh, the important thing is I don't want to waste food and I'm surprised you know, the kids always seem to eat it. So tonight we are having minestrone soup. It is so beautiful. This is the Jamie Oliver minestrone soup. And the kids all love it, so I'm super grateful for that. Even has cabbage. And you want me to show me you want to show me your soup? Did you eat all your soup? Yeah. You ate all of it. Mm. And you moved on to chocolate yogurt, I see. Was that good? Mm. Yeah. Is it tasty? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that's dinner tonight. Um, so yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> what? That. You like that? You ate it all? Do you want some more? No. No, you're good. You're good? Yeah. Okay. Your side is going for the second helping. Third helping. Third helping. Third wow. Helping. Third helping. There you go. I mean, you said it was good. We're lying. It is good. <laughs> and I came down late. But this is what we have it with. The Tuscan Pane with um, almost everything. It's basically like bagel seasoning on there, but it's quite yummy. So this has cabbage and it has rosemary, chicken broth, oh leeks, yeah, it's it's good stuff. <laughs> Tim must feed me a little bowl of soup. <laughs> it's so good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mark. He's Mr. Minnesota. Mm, it's good. It's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Welcome to Tuesday night. It is shopping night. And so for shopping night, we usually have pizza or whatever at the food court. We have some for the kids that are at home. Um, you know, share, share mine. Earlier today, we had hamburgers. Right, later. Then. So here is lunch slash dinner. Sorry, I missed that. We're having some yummy kosher dill pickle chips. <laughs> And then we have wheat and white. The kids like white better. If they only had one thing of wheat, I would have gotten two wheat because I make I make them eat wheat bread. Sorry. And then uh, we've got just onions, tomatoes, lettuce. You know everything it takes to make a good hamburger. I was gonna make fries, but I think I used all the uh, potatoes on the uh, Zupo Toscana, so I have, to, <laughs> I have to remember to get more fries next time or more potatoes next time. And we also, um, we also usually have beans at home for the healthy eaters, so we can have some bean burritos too. <laughs> it's a smorgasbord night. Well, I normally it's eat just, um, we beans love too. Going <laughs> Here's Mama's burrito. We have the roasted tomatillo salsa verde and sour cream and cheese. Oh, <laughs> 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 